All right, we are live. This is Troy from Brighton Games, and welcome back to Fallout 76. So uh, we've done some things actually off camera here. I, I had some video footage recorded for you guys, but it looks like my power went out mid recording and we lost some footage, but that's okay. We're in the same spot, so I'll kind of give you a little overview of what we did, uh, and then we'll go from there. So we basically just went into uh, the airport a little bit to further our quest. We had sold some things around the area and we actually did a event uh, which may spawn again now that we're in the world again uh, and we can do it again so I can show you it but uh, what we're doing right now I'm just looking around I'm gonna sell some of these random items and items we actually picked up from the event because this is a live game um, you know all of our things that we did stayed with us we just unfortunately couldn't catch it on film so what we're gonna do is go in here and sell some items which we did earlier we sold some of our items that we were holding on to and unfortunately we lost that footage but that's okay because it wasn't anything too eventful so the way these vendor bots work uh, I explained in the previous clip but just so you know these are responder vendor bots so every day they replenish their inventory with 200 caps and all of the responder bots share the same 200 caps. So uh, a different type of bot would have a different set of caps, a different 200 allotment of caps. So we can sell some items that we have uh, to him. Uh, so what we're gonna do, just take a look to see if they have any good plans. Uh, right now we have 140 caps. We actually, in a previous episode, only had about 28 caps. So I was able to sell a lot of things um, off camera. Uh, that we lost in the footage there. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look around. Um, a pocketed leather armor chest piece would be nice because I don't believe our uh, chest piece is pocketed. So, I may come back for that. And yeah, we may have to come back for that. Let's see if we can just sell up any of our things that we have here. Like this Bowie knife and this combat knife. Hatchets. Machetes. Um, we are using a heated pitchfork, which is much better than the machetes. So we're gonna stick with that a little bit longer too, I believe. Requisitions are now available. Really bummed that you guys weren't able to see all the uh, event that we just did, where we got all these weapons. But um, I'm gonna get rid of that pip, and we get rid of these. We could break these down and learn about their. Supply here. Um, they're, they're mods, but we should be okay. I'm not gonna let it too much. We'll be able to. Now, these hunting rifles I will keep because we do need to upgrade our hunting rifle. Um, that was something I figured out in the last one. Our hunting rifle is not the greatest. It's even not even in very good condition right now, Don't but it, it needs some mods. So we're gonna save those. So, oh, wow. Okay. I didn't even realize we got this. Apparently, we got. Okay, we already have a recoil compensated pump action but we got a couple more pump actions too so I may save the pump actions and see if we learn any new mods for ours um, the pipe pistols our pipe pistol actually does fairly well I used a lot of it in doing that event so um, I may just sell these because well they're about to break anyway I'll we'll break those down to see if we can get anything else for our pipe pistol here 10 millimeter pistols we have a 10 millimeter that's Painted somewhere. Where is that? Oh, it might have. Was it a legendary? I don't think it was a legendary. So, oh, let me see. Let me check our inventory. I might have lost that in the. Oh yeah, there it is. Long tricentennial pistol. Uh, doesn't look like it has many mods or anything on it, so I might break those down. Let's do that. So we're gonna head over here and break down all our junk first. Oh, and we got a. Challenge completed. Cool. And we're going to break down some of these as well. Stabilized stub barrel. Fierce receiver. That might be okay. I can't remember really. Let's go to weapons here. Those. Light pistol. An automatic receiver. Automatic weapons in this game aren't great. At least not yet. But at the same time, um, I haven't used them too, too much. 
uh, just the submachine gun, the new one that they put in, which we'll get hopefully at some point. Break down some hunting rifles. Low sights. Scope, that would be very helpful for our hunting rifles. So I don't know if we have one yet, but we might need to craft one. Hanging magazine, I think that's armor penetration. And we'll break down some of these. Long barrel for our shotgun would be helpful. Snappy receiver, I'm not sure. Medium barrel, maybe nice. Arden receiver, that's what we want. Well, we already have that actually, never mind. We must have picked up one that already was hardened, so. Good to have, but. Not too big a deal. Okay, so we broke down our weapons there. Uh, we have some clothes here. I'm just gonna sell these farmhand clothes because it's not really something that I wanna wear. Uh, the raider arm is nice that we picked up. Better than this boiled arm, so we'll probably end up wearing that. But if we look at our chest piece, uh, the V button. Um, if we look at our chest piece, we have a pocketed, welded raider chest piece. Actually, we have a better chest piece than the leather, so I might not even break that down or buy that plan. Rather, we might just keep that that plan there. Now the one plan he had was a tent, and I did want to see the tent as a camp item. That's pretty cool. Uh, but unfortunately, we are not there yet. We don't have the, the caps for that. Just for the chest piece, which we'll probably end up finding at some point, I'm sure. Other than that, not too much. A hospital bed you can make. The tent's really the one that I would like to see. I think that'd be pretty cool. Oh, let's uh, sell the rest of the stuff we have. Arm hand clothes. I'll keep that. We will get rid of the boiled leather and wear the raider. Uh, any items here we can get rid of? I should have drank this beer because this beer gives us charisma. Definitely should have drank that before we sold this, <laughs> all these items, but that's okay. It doesn't help out too much. One beer, especially right where our charisma is, it's so low. It's not really going to help. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is double check to make sure we don't have any notes or anything, recipes. We have a chemistry workbench plan, but we already know it, so we can't use it. Okay, so I'm gonna store my junk in here. Let me see if we have any weapons. We have a tricentennial hatchet that we made, um, but we are using the heated pitchfork for right now, so I'll keep that in there. Any apparel that we wanna wear? Helmets don't really do anything in here, so it's kinda unfortunate. Don't really need the hard hat or the party hat. Taking up space. Uh, our sunglasses we could probably wear. And these T60 pieces are so heavy. They add a lot to our carry. Our uh, stash capacity, unfortunately. But we're going to hold on to them because I don't know how often we're going to find uh, those pieces. Alright, so uh, I did say this earlier in the episode that we unfortunately didn't get to see but we are going to um keep these episodes a little shorter or at least try to anyway oh, he does have a break he has pocketed armor I but uh we'll keep our money we'll probably find that plan at some point here soon um we're gonna keep the episodes a little shorter uh they were around 40 minutes to an hour i'm gonna try to keep them maybe around half an hour to 40 minutes depending on what we get into just to keep it uh, a little easier for you guys to see the content and also for me to keep the content going um, while we are now here in 2019. Uh, I did want to wait a bit uh, till 2019 to actually start the series back up. So that's why there's a little bit of a delay. Oh, there's something in there. Oh, a toy car. I didn't even see that. Yeah, uh, That's why there's a little bit of a delay because Bethesda has put out some updates here. Uh, even just this week and one of the bigger updates that they put out was this week so a lot of changes have uh, happened to uh, the game that makes it I think a bit smoother a bit better experience uh, to watch on the videos and also for me to play just everything has been moving a lot smoother I've noticed so oh, like these scorch they run around now they usually just stay in one spot but they're much more mobile and the AI it seems to be in my opinion better than I had witnessed um, you know they're now not a challenge but they're they're fun they're not just uh, in one solid pose or 
their guns broken the way they shoot it it's <laughs> animation is broken so there, there seem to be a bit uh, some work seems to be been done on those but um yeah so they, they've updated a lot of things especially with our camp which is our next big objective is to get our camp situation set up so that we can start getting things uh going here um Oh, look, see, he, see how fast he's running now? The the melee guys, they they run. They might have ran before, but I... Oh, that hurt. I didn't... Oh. <laughs> There's still an issue that Bethesda needs to take care of. That, I, I don't know if it's an issue, but it, it bugs me. He was swinging a, an axe, right? But he doesn't have an axe. He has knuckles on him. Like, they just it just generates a random melee weapon sometimes. That isn't the way... Oh, he might not even have had a pitch for it. He might have. I don't know. But they generate a random weapon that's not the weapon that they carry. That's kind of a just kind of bums me out. I, I think that it should definitely be the weapon that they were carrying. But hopefully that gets taken care of. Ooh, I don't want to leave. Uh, but yeah, so we're trying to get our camp set situation set up here soon. I have a feeling that once I go into this area over here to learn about the inoculation project, that the event I just did is going to spawn again because now we're in a new world and so i'll probably have to do it again um we did take a perk off camera as well unfortunately i'll show you once we uh there's some of these enemies oh man it's harder to hit this thing right now let's uh let's use our shotgun yeah there we go there we go that's better Yeah, I have a feeling that it's going to spawn that that quest again, or the event again, which is like a community little small quest that spawns. Um, I did listen to this already. This dis oh, follow me up here, or are you already up here? I'm not sure. Uh, we did listen to this already, but um, I can play it for you. I'm not gonna grab that one because I don't have multiple. But uh, here it is. up a new radio signal. Someone's asking for help. She wants me to take my team and follow until we find them. Can't be too far. Already tracked to gaining strength south of here. Problem is, we have to go straight on through raider country to find them. And I don't have the time or men to spare right now. So, I hate to say it, but I gotta tell her it ain't gonna happen. Not now. My team's the last line of defense. And if I take them on some wild goose chase, we're leaving ourselves open for another Christmas blood situation. And you can bet your ass I ain't gonna let that happen again. Even if it means someone out there might need us. Oh, man alive. Times have changed. Okay, so in uh, one of the previous episodes, um, I'm sorry, clips that didn't get saved, um, I, I did talk about a few things. Our FPS, or sorry, our field of view is much wider now, uh, you might notice. I, said, uh, I think I have it set to 100. Uh, so it's a little bit easier to see more on the screen. Hopefully it works a bit better for you guys uh, viewing. So um, this is something that we're going to be coming back to when we do this little volunteer training that's up top. We're going to listen to that holotape in just a minute. I just want to see if something. I just want to see if this, yeah, this event spawns again. Okay, so we'll do this event again um, since we didn't get it on camera. It's basically there's a few uh, five swarms of. He's scorched, and we're going to take him out. So. And then we get a cargo bot at the end and some rewards. So. There we go. So 
So there is a scorched piece. Um, basically what's causing all of this, uh, you know, scorched issues here we're having. This one, because it's an event, is not going to attack me. Uh, luckily, they they will do that, but this one is just uh, an event here. And I think it's just to show you what they either look like or kind of give you a, a little bit of right there for a second so we finished the first wave we have another wave coming here in just a second up here is where we're gonna go i haven't tried to shoot it so i'm not gonna do that because i don't want it to fight me i don't think it is hostile though up uh, there's where we need to go after this event so we'll take care of these guys loot their uh stuff here and we will go ahead and grab that so just give us a few minutes for these scorch to arrive and we'll take care of them, get some good rewards, hopefully, and go from there. So, in the previous recording of this, I used a different weapon. I didn't use this shotgun. This shotgun is making very short work of all of these guys. I should have did this last time. I even like bats on it too. You just kind of wait till they get up there and they're gone. So, put a rads from that. But. All right, we got a few more minutes here, or seconds, I should say, before they show up. Round three. We are over encumbered, but we're just going to try to loot as much as we can while we have this 20 second downtime here. Orange, orange method. Perception and bats accuracy. Okay. Oh, a bobblehead. So bobbleheads in this game are temporary. They're, they're not quite uh, permanent. So if this one lasts for an hour, you get plus two endurance for one hour. So pretty cool. We'll probably just hang on to a lot of those. See how many we can get. Maybe save them up. Maybe use them if we need to. Raider left arm. I think it's going to be better than what we are wearing. Thought there was another guy over there. These these guys are going down much faster than uh, than they did before. The shotgun, which is nice, because we have a lot of ammo for this shotgun. Um, we might need it later, but well, let's use it now. Why not? No point in struggling if we don't have to. The condition of this weapon is not very good though, if I look. I bet. Where are we at? Oh yeah, this is gonna break. So we are gonna switch it out here, just because it's gonna break. Look, <laughs> carrying an axe. That was definitely a pitchfork. I don't know. That just bugs me. I feel like they should have the weapon that they're swinging. I like that they're swinging. I like their animation. But, uh, better than nothing. But, come on. Give me the weapon that... Machete to a sickle. You know, give me the weapon that they had. To me, that just... Breaks the immersion. Okay. That round was only, like, three guys. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this event doesn't didn't spawn as many as the last one did um well, many people but that's okay we're doing well now this is the last one so i'm sure maybe there's more people on this one we will find out anything in here oh yeah oh that's been looted or it remembers that i was here before but i'm in a different world so i, I don't think it would do that oh Okay, come on guys, come this way. Come this way. Oh. I thought that was gonna be more eventful than it was. Hey, we leveled up though. Nice. Level eight. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. Okay. 
That axe is when it hits you. It doesn't really do didn't do a lot of damage. Oh, he's not even doing an axe on him. Didn't do a lot of damage, but it moved me around there. I thought it did. Oh yeah, I was trying to get that to trigger faster, but oh well. Didn't catch fire quite as fast. Oh, this is a boss one. That's what that little crown means. So they should have a little bit more items. 10 millimeter. Yeah, see a little bit better items. Excessive adhesive. A better left leg. Yeah. Cool. And we've completed the quest. And so these Forge Peaceful leave. Eyes to the sky, people. And now the cargo bot can land and give us some more goodies. So we got Nice. We got two stim packs. We got a sturdy leather chest piece. I'll see that. That might be okay. Let's see what the sturdy leather looks like. We have a pocketed raider right now. Sturdy leather is nah, it's only eight and twenty energy resistance, which is nice, but no one's really shooting energy weapons at us right now. And this is pocketed, so it's giving us carry weight as well. But so we'll keep it. Maybe we'll keep it somewhere, but we're definitely gonna uh, keep what we got on, on. So, all right. Once this guy goes away, we should be good. Okay, so like a blood pack. Oh, we got a lot of things that we can't unfortunately use right now. What do we got? Close, but we're. I think it's probably level ten. Yeah, hooked pipe wrench is level ten. Not as good as my pitchfork. And this pipe rifle. Oh, wow. It's got a lot of mods. It's got a drum on it. Recoil compensated stock there. Scope. Nice. Not a bad weapon, but not uh, quite what we need yet. We could probably end up just making one of these. But we might sell it and then just make one later. I'm sure we'll get enough pipe weapons together to learn all that stuff. All right. What I'm going to do Oh, is accidentally sit down. <laughs> What we're going to do now, we're going to finish this up here and uh, loot here, grab the inoculation tape I was telling you about. We're going to do the camping hollow tape so that we can get ready to build our... Oh, goodness, I did it again. I'm sorry. So we can get ready to build our camp and then we'll wrap it up. So that'll be an episode here. Just kind of finishing up uh, the airport area for now going to not do that by grabbing these beer bottles and that beer. Oh, I love this. There's hot dogs, but I wonder what what, what kind of meat that is. Um, okay. uh, that the hot dogs are made out of. Because you can eat them. They're, they're real. Okay. Oh, we got a recipe. Nice. Mylark soft shell cake. Oop, wrong one. Let's read that. Uh, this chemistry workbench we already have. That one we don't. Okay, cool. I'm just going to loot this stuff here. We're already over encumbered, so I'm just going to loot that stuff so that we can... Uh, oh, another one. Float fly load. Yep. Oh, perfect. We're going to craft some stuff here in just a second. Let me look around. Can't break things down in the cooking stove, unfortunately, but... Okay. Um, I believe right now we still have a perk. Oh, yeah, we got a perk pack, so we'll level up as well definitely level up take our levels because it's a perk pack uh, level so we're gonna get four or five cards we might be able to swap some things in and out which is exciting I think right now we're using an action one that lets our AP regenerate fast so even being over encumbered it regenerates really quick all right let's see what we can craft real quick here uh, not much we can boil some water which is fine we'll do that makes that that easy okay yeah, until we get our camp really set up, we're not going to be able to, I mean, we'll be able to do things, but we're kind of carrying a lot on us and, and doing a lot as we go, you know, mobile, base to base, basically, our workbench to workbench. So let's go ahead and double check this one more time. Do a little bit more looting. Don't really need any of this porch stuff. Oh, there's a quest. That comes here, I guess, because the quest owner said can pick it up. Okay, I've never done that quest, so we're gonna hopefully try to find that quest. We don't have a high enough lock pick for that. IV bags have plastic, which I need to bulk my items, my junk items, so we're gonna do that. 
And let's see what's up here. Oh, another medical tape, okay. But While you're here, ask the doctors if they have any special supply requests. After that, head over to the control tower for your last stop. As you can clearly see, we need to constantly restock all of these supplies to keep our heads above water. And there's just no signs of it getting any quieter anytime soon. The control tower is on the tarmac and it's your final patrol stop. I am so glad we established the volunteer program. We've gotten many good responder volunteers this way. That's not done good work in Flatwoods. All right, so I guess there's other tapes that maybe we did see, maybe we haven't seen yet. But and we're getting a lot of great uh, upgrades here. Oops. And as soon as we get some adhesive uh, farm going, basically the ingredients we need to make vegetable starch, once we get those at our camp, we should be able to do some pretty good upgrading. Let's see what we can uh, make here. Nothing really. Gunpowder, but we don't need it yet, so we'll wait. Okay. So, let's go over. We did get a suppressor mod, if you saw, I don't know if you saw it, on the 10 millimeter, which is pretty exciting. Um, that would be cool. All right, gonna go up here and head it over around this way. Want to loot everything for now, and once we start building, we're gonna need those resources. All right, so we're looking for the information about inoculation. So let's go ahead and read. All right, as all of you know, Dr. Hudson's been continuing her research at AVR Medical. Uh, well, she just reported in to let us know she made a breakthrough and it looks like they have inoculation against the scorch that could become a reality. Let's keep all our fingers crossed and make sure we do everything to help Claire compete, complete her work. Our very survival depends on Jeff. Akamura. Okay, so now it looks like we're going to AVR Medical to research uh, or to find Dr. Hudson's research about the scorched plague. So, all right, that's a bit away, uh, if I believe. So, there's some more information here about the scorched beasts and the scorched um, plague. We're not going to read those right now. We'll learn more as we kind of go through it. And some just uh, responder HQ messages here. All right, so we completed final departure. Did we get anything for completing? I'm not really sure. Oh yeah. Nice. So we can now officially, oh yeah, Somerset Special. So we get a legendary weapon called Somerset Special that ignores 50% of a target's armor. So it's a pretty good weapon. Especially, it's scoped right now. You can take the scope off. It sometimes it drops with out of scope. I've seen that before too. Here's somebody now. Oh, there's another player in the area. Okay. Oh, no biggie. We're not... We might startle him, but... Probably hears me too, so... Most him. Give him a wave. I remember how to. Remember how to wave. Okay. Oh, there it is. Give him a high. Okay, moving on. Andre's note. 
the love of my life. Abby said we can use her bunker for whatever it is you want to plan for our anniversary. I know it's only been a few months. Okay, two months, three weeks, and four days, but I'm so excited. You've changed my life, DeAndre. I hope you know that. Love, Lydia. Oh, okay. Little things there. Oh, he waved back. Cool. Oh. Really worth grabbing right there. It's kind of all heavy stuff and just deal. Okay, let's head out of here and go find that. Oh, we need to listen to that hollow tape. That. Drop some junk. Alright, so let's listen to the hollow tape and then we'll probably wrap it up here. So the hollow tape for Camping 101. Responder Survivors Volunteer Program. Advanced Training. Camping. By Miguel Caldera. Robot Programmer Extraordinaire. Part 1. Finding the perfect camping location. Now that the world has changed, it's hard to stay safe. Used to be that camping was safe as houses. <laughs> well, until there was a strong wind, right? <laughs> These days, nothing is really safe. Even in your camp, someone might hurt you. The perfect spot doesn't matter now. It's all about your defenses. You can build near people you trust who will watch your back or uh, build things that will watch your back for you. No problem. Anyone can do it. Remember, camps are mobile. We're all explorers now. Camping in a strange land full of adventure, wonder, and danger. So, camp often and rest a lot. Before the war, I was going to retire and go camping. I can do it every day. Forever. It's a dream come true. Do what you love, right? Now come to my camp, and I can show you some knots and framing techniques. Then, I'll direct you on to some helpful supplies. Good luck, volunteer. Okay, so that's the uh, thing we need to do. So we're going to head up to... Was a safe here? Ooh. Why would it give me two of the exact same plan? I don't know if we got a, just an unlucky drop there or what? We got some stuff here, so that's cool. Let's learn one of those. Unfortunately, you can't do anything with the other one. Uh, I'm going to just leave those in this safe for somebody. Okay. So if somebody comes here new and they need flies, maybe they'll be able to use those. Okay. So... Let's head over to Miguel's campsite and then get this done. This is pretty quick, so we'll do this and then we'll call it an episode. Okay. Wooden chess piece. I'm sure that is not very good. Oh, speaking of chess pieces, let's put our armor on because we have some better apparel now. We should do that. Uh, left leg. Yeah, upgrade for left leg for sure. And since we're not pocketing things yet, it doesn't really matter. Take the better damage resistance. Um, what else did we find? We got the we have a leather right leg. Did we find a raider leg? Leg? We didn't. Okay, these wood ones are terrible. So uh, we'll put the raider right arm. What's on the right arm? You know, nothing. Okay, so we'll put the raider right arm on. That's easy. And the raider left arm on. And we don't need either of those. Now we are now. A responder paramedic jumpsuit we could keep that which it's not a bad suit but let's go for the rest of this little episode here into the responder police outfit so I'll put the patrolman glasses on and the cop cap since now we're technically a responder and we'll be a responder police officer for the rest of the uh, episode here <laughs> all right let's go find this camp it's 82 away so let's go up here sometimes enemies spawn up here maybe i don't remember well actually it might not be that way I might be looking at oh no it's that way okay thought i was looking at the wrong thing oh i'm 
materials, and of course we ran out of AP. But we're gonna regenerate pretty fast. Uh, we do have, again, those levels to take. We might take those at the beginning of the next episode, just so this one doesn't get too long here. I believe some people start coming, so. should have followed your own advice and built turrets and walls and all those things. Why didn't you? So as you can see, this is Miguel's camp, and unfortunately Miguel uh, didn't make it. So uh, this is his uh, robot that you need to interact with. Now he's got some camping things here, camping syllabus. Find a safe spot, Look for, or be sure to look for fresh animal or human droppings nearby. Uh, use recycled materials. Why have a camp? You can have cooking stations or even your own staff and then students should be checking in with any local responder so teaching people how to basically uh camp for their own for themselves here they're gonna take that and that's the scorch that i thought was gonna spawn okay there we go an average volunteer takes 132 minutes to set up a camp for the first time responder miguel Set up this camp in only nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine <laughs> minutes. Uh, robot Mr. Fluffy here is a little snarky. Hey, Miguel, did you hear something? Of course not, because you're dead. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna interact with him real quick. It's just so odd to see humans again. Well, the non-rotten kind, anyway. Miguel has some camp schematics on his terminal in the airport and a camp program hollow tape find them and return here okay so that's what we're gonna do i might be doing the same quest he's level 23 it's a big big level to be doing this quest maybe he uh went a different way or something right out of the vault that's cool all right Let's head down. Again, it's unfortunately walking, but we gotta head right back down. And we're out of action points. There's a fusion coin. Wherever it is. But. Oh, pencil has lead. Alright. Um, no one took those. Okay. And we're back. We did pick up that hollow tape camp guide. Um, these are just little notes Miguel's made, so nothing super important. But get in his terminal here. So we want the camp schematic. So, uh, um, so he's got a journal and some things. Safe control. Uh, already unlocked, so that's the safe we put our recipe extra extra recipes in so uh let's read the oh wait no we have to give him the camp holotape we don't actually load that one up ourselves so let's do that yeah sorry for all the running around here let's just uh i'll back up there Wasn't always for everyone, but now 
that everything is destroyed. It's quite literally now for everyone living a dream. Right, Miguel? Is there, all right, we're back. So let's give him the hollow tape. The responders formed. We trained dozens of volunteers to build camps. Go over to that nearby clearing and set up your camp. Maybe at a cook fire and a storage container. You can always move your whole camp later. It's not enough that I am tethered to an invisible point forever, but the nickname so uncouth. None of the other volunteer bots had idiotic names. All right, so let's go ahead and oh, we'll I told talk. you. Let's hear it. Don't make that chili nearby. <laughs> it smells too good. I could detect it from the airfield. Why didn't you listen? Maybe that's what happened to him. Something came up and got rid of him there. All right, so we're gonna go. Does it tell us where to go? No, it doesn't really. Oh, there's a wanted person over there. We're not gonna go there, that's for sure. Don't want to uh, fight a level 55 guy. So what we're gonna do is just put our camp down somewhere. So where we can here. Uh, let's find a clear path. Go in. And we're gonna put our camp just somewhere here for now. This won't be our permanent camp spot, but just to deploy our camp. So that we can complete this. And it wants us to build a cooking fire and a stash box. Go ahead and do that. All right, so we're in the build menu here. Uh, go to Ash box. There. We'll build a stash box. Uh, I had to put a floor down first. I don't have to, but looks better. Let's do that. Or there we go. Put a floor down. Uh, this is the new update I was telling you about why we waited to build our camp. See that rock that would normally interfere with us being able to place, but now. It just bulldozes right over it and it goes away and you can build over those little rocks and terrain. Makes it a little bit easier to actually get your a placement because this would be a bad spot normally. Um, oh, that's because the, the camp's there. This would be a bad spot normally, but because you can move those, it actually isn't terrible. So, oh, that's, that's pretty good. Let's put that down. Oh, weird spot for it. Let's move it. And where the grass isn't coming. You can raise it up. Have to raise it up really high for that. So, here. And we're just putting just the basics for now because we're just finishing this. We'll put a cook fire. That's what it said. And a stash. And we can put a rug underneath. All right, and a stash box. So. Can we fit both on the one here? Yeah, we can actually. Oh, perfect. I think that's all we needed. Yep. We got a leather chest piece. Let's see that. I'm clock. Okay, we got some raw leather. We got a lot of screws. Six screws. I'll take that. We needed that. Oh, yeah. And we got a legendary piece of that chest piece that it is. It's legendary. So we might end up putting that on because we have it gives us one endurance which is 10 health i think or is it silver lining not as good on the damage resistance but that one health 275 oh it still only gives us 275 so maybe it doesn't improve your health just your I don't even know what that would be. Uh, endurance. Yeah. Well, we finished that. Let's go ahead and dump our junk into there. And 
we will call it an episode here, guys. So let's, uh, yeah. So we got our cop outfit on here. We got our camp officially set up. Not really, but we have uh, enough to complete the training quest here for the camp. And we got our next objective, which is to go way, way south. Now we can tune into the Grafton radio and do Grafton here uh, if we'd like. Uh, we may, we may stick around this area, or we may just trek down, because it's a far trek, all the way down to this area to get the next part of the main quest, which is to get the uh, uh, research, or to study the research. So, we may travel back down this way, sell some things at either this stations or down in Flatwoods again. We do need to get our camp set up, so we might look for a good central location, uh, perhaps something around... Uh, the railroad tracks in here might be good. I see some water over here. That might be a good area uh, to get a camp going. Uh, somewhere in that region where we can use a river. Again, there's a river along here, so we might want to put it along the river. Just somewhere where we can be kind of centrally located. We can fast travel to it for free, so keep that in mind. But, you know, we'll see. We, right now, we got some time. So we might go up this way, or we might head back down. Um... We'll see you in the next episode. So, all right, guys. Again, this is Troy from Brighton Games. Thank you guys for joining us, and I'll see you in the next episode.